Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Nolan N70 2X helmet. If you're looking for a bike helmet that's a complete and utter all-rounder, then you may well be looking at it. The Nolan N70 2X covers a wide range of disciplines because you can remove the chin bar. That means you can convert it from open face to full face and back again to suit the riding that you're doing at the time. Add in a removable peak and visor and there are a wide range of options for this helmet. By my reckoning there are seven different configurations that you can run for this helmet. You can have a conventional adventure helmet with the peak and the visor. You can have a conventional full face lid with the visor but no peak. You can run it as a motocross style lid, so you can have the peak and you can wear goggles. Or well, there are four different options of open face helmet if you take out the chin bar. So you can have an open face with the peak and the visor, open face with just a peak, open face lid with just a visor, or an open face with neither of those, like an Italian scooter style helmet. It's not as simple to switch between those modes with this helmet as it is with a flip front or a flip over helmet because you need to stop and do the conversion. But if you're riding a long way and you want a full face helmet to get you there and an open face helmet once you've arrived, then something like this is perfect. The chin bar releases by pushing down the two buttons that sit on the top of it, that's just located here, and then pulling it clear. There are two covers supplied in the accessories bag with the helmet that clip in to fill the voids left here. And then you have an open face helmet that still has a deep visor for proper protection against wind and against flying debris. The peak is also removable and that comes off by rotating the two buttons on each side and removing the top screw on top of the helmet. Once you've taken this out, there's a small bung in the accessories bag that pushes in to block up the screw hole if you want to ride without the peak. The visor then comes off in a quite conventional quick release manner and there are press on covers to conceal the visor mounts when you're riding without the visor. All of this adds up to a really versatile helmet and all of those different options that you've got available. But if we look at it as a conventional helmet, it has a polycarbonate shell that comes in two different sizes. The smaller shell runs up to size medium and then the larger shell takes helmet sizes from large above. Polycarbonate helmets are rarely light and this medium sized N70 2X weighs in on our scales at 1764 grams. That's pretty heavy and it's something to bear in mind before you go for a helmet like this, that extra weight that you're going to be carrying on your neck. Ventilation for this helmet comes through three inlets on top, each of which has a slide-in switch cover and then there's, a, there's an exhaust vent on the back of the helmet that's always open. The chin bar, if you have it fitted, has one chunky switch to operate a vent and that opens up to draw air through and onto the inner surface of the visor. The visor is pinlock protected and one benefit that you always get with Nolan is that the inserts are fitted at the factory so you don't need to faff around fitting it yourself before you can wear the helmet. It's a max vision insert so it covers a large section of the visor so you know it's not going to impede your vision. It's just going to give you good anti-mist protective properties. It's backed by a sun visor, it operates on this switch on the rim of the shell and then there's this release switch to raise it again. That Internal sun visor is anti-fog protected, so you know you're going to be able to see through that no matter what the weather. Moving to the inside, this helmet has a very comfortable interior that's removable for washing and it fits into the helmet in one piece. So it's really simple to take it out and to put it back in. And there's also this drawstring system around the neck roll. By pulling that tight and then pushing this tab back up towards the base of the helmet, it allows you to tighten the fit around the neck, which can reduce airflow around the base of the helmet and make the ride a little bit quieter and also a little bit warmer. The lid fastens with a micrometric buckle, but Nolan's version is a bit different to many others. It's called Microlock 2 and it's got additional security. To open it, you need to release this red tab here, then lift the main body and then the tooth slider strap pulls out. That's just a little bit more secure and means that you are less likely to get accidental operation rather than just having one motion to open it. This is the sort of helmet where built-in comm systems are crucial and this one is prepared for Nolan's own NCOM Bluetooth system. There's a mounting panel on the left of the shell and recesses in the EPS inside mean you can fit speakers in there with comfort. 
It's still pretty light on customer reviews for the N70 2X helmet, but my experience of it is good after a couple of hundred miles in the saddle with this helmet. The peak doesn't cause undue turbulence while riding, and the comfort and peripheral vision are both very, very good. In my opinion, Nolan helmets are very underrated, and this one has a lot to offer for a rider who wants to cover a load of different motorcycling disciplines with just the one helmet. I hope that gives you the full picture on Nolan's N70 2X helmet. But if you have anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.